Hi guys, my name's Zach Fox and this is MTV News. Let's wrap this up quick. Don't want to be late for the Christmas party. End of intro. We caught up with Sophie Kasai for an update on living with alopecia and she has an extra special something to say to all the people who responded to the last video. I did a video for MTV a good few months back about my alopecia and about how I've lost hair and how it does affect us. It was a very big thing for me to do. I opened up and I told everyone about it. The response I got was absolutely amazing. So many girls go through exactly what I go through. And I did take a lot of advice. Girls were telling us some medication to take and telling us what else to do. And since then, I haven't really got hair extensions in that area. I am actually starting to recover from the alopecia. I'm in a happier place and I think everything is helping me hair grow back. I never realised I'd get that support, so thank you. Zac Efron says that his kiss with Zendaya was his best kiss ever. You may be surprised to hear it wasn't himself. <laughs> Wait, do people like him? Sorry. In an interview during the press tour for the upcoming musical bonanza, The Greatest Showman, the pair get chatting about a kiss they share during the shoot. Warning, the following quote features Zac Efron saying something really cute about Zendaya. Viewers who easily ship, please avert your eyes. This might be my favorite kiss, I think ever. Uh, dude, play it cool, she sat right next to you. Just because at this point for these characters, it's so built up. The tension between them is so strong and literally just a glance between them is electric. And when they finally have the courage in that moment to finally connect and get that kiss, it's that epic musical moment. That has actually sold me. The film is about two lovers working in P.T. Barnum Circus. He plays the part of a dreamer and she plays an acrobat. We aren't allowed to show real footage of the kiss, but it probably looks something like this. Big news, Bella and The Weeknd may be back together. Oh my goodness, can we have my eyes bulge out my head like a cartoon? According to new reports, the two are well on their way to being a thing again. This comes after last month when Bella Hadid's flat had a The Weeknd infestation. <laughs> I wonder why he never uses his real name. A source close to the couple says there has been consistent talking, texting, and FaceTiming between Bella Hadid and Abel Tesfaye. Tesfaye, oh, that's why. The source continues, she's happy with where things are, and he is too. They are still totally in love. No way. Looks like 2017 might be the year of rekindling old flames. I might give it a try. Just don't tell my girlfriend. Oh, now you can do it. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm the only person here. This is humiliating. He's coming over now. Hey, how are, how are you, man? You, you gonna stop that soon so we can talk? I'll be over 